I'm Dump Truck DS, and welcome back to Mapping for Quake and this special series on Prague's Dump. In this episode, we are covering monster spawning and monster triggering. Uh, we've added quite a few cool features, and so some of this is, has a little bit of overlap with my Prog's Dump 100 video. So I've put some timestamps if those things sound familiar to you. But if you're new to the mod, watch the whole thing. There's some really great features. And so without further ado, here is monster stuff. One of the basic features of Prog's Dump is the ability to just trigger spawn a monster into the game. So you have a trigger once, you pass through that, and it will fire any target. And basically you set that by setting the trigger spawn spawn flag here on a monster. So that's really easy, very simplistic thing, but it is a nice quality of life feature. So in this setup, I am just triggering three monsters just to spawn in all at once. And so, you know, everybody knows what that looks like, but let's go ahead and uh, compile that and see what it looks like in game. So I'm gonna cross, that's where the trigger is. They're all gonna spawn in at the same time. So, yay, that's awesome, right? Okay, so let's go back out to Trench Broom and liven this up just a little bit. So what you can do is set a delay for that spawning. And um, so I've got a drop down here and there's no delay, which is default. And then you can have, you know, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 in a second. You can also set this to whatever you'd like. If you want it in three seconds, uh, no problem. So I've staggered them a little bit and um, it just feels better this way. So they don't all pop in at once. It's just a little bit of a delay between each one. Now, a kind of a unique feature to Prog's Dump that we've added is uh, pain targets and pain thresholds. And basically those two work together. And what that means is you can set a threshold of pain, let's say, or health, I mean, uh, the let's say the enforcer here has a, a default health of 80 down here. And what I've done is I've set his pain threshold at 40. When it, so when he gets to half health, he is going to tr uh, trigger, he's gonna fire some targets. So those targets are army one. Uh, these guys have a target name of Army 1, and his um, target, his pain target, is Army 1 up here. So when he gets down to f below 40, they will spawn in. They have a trigger spawn set, and they have target names and everything. All right, so I'm going to shoot him. And there they come. So you can see how that could liven up uh, any kind of encounters, you know, uh, just to stagger enemy spawns, make waves and waves of enemies just to really throw the player off. And the way I thought of this was I, I had some play testing done on a map I made and I noticed that um, someone was cheesing the shambler. So uh, the shambler was down below the player, the player was up on a platform and the player would just hide from the shambler and shoot him and shoot him and shoot him with the shotgun until he died. And so we see that all the time when people are playing our levels and I just wanted some some way of, you know, maybe spawning in a, an enemy at an unexpected time. It could be right after you shoot the Shambler or right before he dies. So I've seen this to good use too. Uh, Ubiquitous used this in his Of Three Plantagenets uh, map pack as a little mini episode. Now, ordinarily, you would have monsters die and then fire targets and luckily with this system you can still do that so if you wanted something to happen when the when the enforcer dies uh in addition to the pain threshold and pain targeting you could do that so if you wanted something else to happen like a door to open or another monster you can set that target name uh that target as well Okay, the next thing I want to show you is the sight trigger system. So what that does is when you set sight trigger to one on a monster, when that monster sees the player, he's gonna fire his target. In this case, the target is this monster. I've changed his target name to Army 2 because I didn't want him to you know, have the same target name as this guy. We'll get to him in a minute. When this monster sees the player, 
this guy's going to spawn in. And just a reminder, I'm showing you, you know, trigger spawn monsters, but you could target gates or, you know, um, other active, you know, other things in the map. You could have, uh, you know, effects play or explosions or doors open, you know, traps happen, all that stuff. I'm just kind of showing you the most simple usage of this. So, uh, you know, let your imagination run wild with these things. Now, the caveat with this system, unlike the other pain threshold and pain target, is is that this kind of you won't be able to do anything when this monster dies when this enforcer dies he's not going to trigger or target anything he's going to he's going to trigger just this thing when he sees you and then that uses that target up so that is kind of a little bit of a drawback but it's i don't think it's that big of a deal now i still have a pain threshold on him and i've lowered it down to 20 and when he gets below 20 this monster is going to spawn in. So let's take a look at that. So now I can kind of see him over there. He's going to see me and that there goes his uh, sight trigger. Now he's going to get below 20 here and then that guy comes in. So another feature we have is the ability to uh, suppress the dropping of backpacks. So army, otherwise known as grunts, enforcers, and ogres will all drop backpacks when they die in the regular game. Someone on the Discord suggested that, you know, for gameplay tweaking. I wouldn't go crazy with this, but it is something that was easy to implement and it's a good little tweak that you can use. So I'm gonna trigger these guys in. No backpacks. So that's, you know, again, that's an, hey, what's going on here? Hey, die, punks. All right, I was trying to be a little entertaining there. That shows another feature. You can set a custom health on any monster you want. So I set these guys to one. So I would not go crazy with this feature um, unless you want to communicate it to the players. You don't want to make a shambler that's, you know, 10,000 health <laughs> and just expect players to love that, you know, and let, you know, it's up to you. You're the mapper. You get to do it. But I would communicate it somehow with a message saying, wow, the shambler seems pretty tough or, or something like that. Anyway, you've got the tools to do this. Um, so that's it. That's sight triggers. That's trigger spawning. That's putting a delay on trigger spawns, um, all kinds of cool little features that are easy to implement and use in your maps if you use progs dumb. All right, that's it for this video. Uh, just a reminder about our Quake Mapping Discord. We'd love to have you, if you haven't uh, joined already, come ask questions and hang out with other Quake Mappers. Thanks for hanging in there. We'll see you in the next video.